Rats are most dangerous when backed in the corners. So maybe we should try not to back people in the corners because they might come out cooperating and snitching. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So I've been looking over the uh the paperwork as far as the uh the the court documents, the actual uh, minutes of when Takashi Six Nine went into court and then you know gave in his plea. And uh, today I just want to bring three different. Uh, pages to everybody's attention and I'm going to speak on it and I'm going to show you the pages obviously you see the pages they're going to be popping up it's going to be cycling through the pages you can just look and read them yourself stop whenever you need to obviously uh, you know if you want to read the whole thing anyway so the main thing that I want to bring to this is first of all for everybody that knows Takashi 69 put in his plea on January 23rd 2018 I mean, pardon me, 2019. Understand this. He put in his plea, January 23rd, 2019. The court date that Takashi 69 and Treyway, the, 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 the members of Treyway had, was January 22nd, 2019. So Takashi 69 put in his plea the day after everybody went to court. First, I want to explain to you real quickly why this is significant. The reason why this is significant is that it proves that after his attorney was moved off of the case, they had to pivot and change their whole entire design of what they were going to do as far as the legal proceedings was 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 um, had to deal with. So what I'm basically saying is there's a good chance that Takashi 69 and his team did not necessarily plan on pleading guilty as of yet. That wasn't what they were planning on doing as of yet. I'm not trying to say it was all the way, all the way off of the uh, table. I'm not trying to say that he never planned on pleading guilty. I'm not trying to say that he never planned on cooperating. I'm not trying to say that he never planned on snitching. What I'm saying is, is that after Lazaro was moved off of the case, they pivoted and they did the next best thing. And that was take that first deal that they were offered because the government knew that they had them under their foot. They offered him a deal. He took it. Okay, so the reason why I'm saying those two dates also is because the date that Takashi 69 is going to be sentenced is January 24th, 2020, 2020. The reason why this is the reason why this why I think that this is significant is that's one year and a day after he decided that he was going to plead guilty. And even more importantly, the case starts January, I mean, September 4th, 2019. OK, so get this. On page 23, it reads the defendant says, yes, your honor. The court says, do you understand? That count nine, the narcotic, the narcotics, the narcotics conspiracy offense carries a mandatory minimum term of imprisonment of 10 years. The defendant says, yes, your honor. Then the court says, putting all these mandatory consecutive and mandatory minimum provisions together, unless the court grants a government motion from relief from these mandatory sentences based on your cooperation, you could face a mandatory minimum term of imprisonment of 47 years. Now, the reason why that's significant is because the court date when the trial starts is September 4th. 
And his sentencing is September 4th, 2019. And his sentencing is on January 24th, 2020. His sentences is set well after the date of the actual trial. So I wouldn't be, I'm not saying that this is, oh, this is also not, I'm not trying to say that this is odd or I'm saying that this is abnormal. I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is, is that you ever seen when they be like tips, you call in to give tips and shit. And they say, if your call in helps get the person you know, find the actual culprit, you get a certain amount of money. And if the culprit actually gets convicted of the offense after we find them, I think you could also like get another amount of money. That might be the situation that Takashi is looking at, but not with money. They've let him know. He's just pled guilty to 47 years of stuff. They can decide to hit him with 47 years of stuff. The only way that he is not going to get those 47 years now is dependent on the court, the judge. It's dependent on his cooperation. But I think it goes a little bit deeper than just his cooperation. I think it is directly dependent on the type of, 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 of effect his cooperation has on the trial. When he goes, when they go to court, when trial starts, September 4th, I look for Takashi 69 at some point to take the stand. Will there be other people taking the stand also? Don't know. I think so, but don't know. But I look for Takashi 69 to take the stand. I look for him to, I don't know, drive a nail or attempt to drive a nail into the Treyway coffin in an attempt to not 20 to 30 years off of that sentence, maybe more. Maybe if Takashi plays ball and he goes and he just spills his guts and tell everybody what he knows and he gets on that stand and he's a good witness. He uses some of his charisma to win over the court to convince those jurors to throw the book at the members of Trey Way that was once he that once he called brothers. Maybe he gets even less than that. Because if unless I don't, you know, unless I'm in another another realm of reality, when the court says Unless the court grants a government motion, hold on, I'll start the whole sentence. Putting all these mandatory consecutive and mandatory minimum provisions together, unless the court grants a government motion for relief from these mandatory sentences based on your cooperation, you could face a mandatory minimum term of imprisonment for 47 years. So basically, at this point, Takashi isn't getting out until he's about 69, 70 years old. This is why people turn state's evidence. This is why people snitch. This is why people tell. This is why people give it all up. Because if you blow trial, you ain't coming home. You have a new life. Everybody that you knew is just that. People you knew. It's over. They're not talking about giving him 20 years, y'all. They're talking about giving him a possible 47 years. And you know they want him to cooperate because they've been trying to get Takashi to cooperate with them since the summer. So you know they want him to help. They, you know they want him to tell them things. I don't know how much time he's going to get. Maybe they, they pull some real shenanigans. 
he helps everybody gets the book thrown at them and they give Takashi like five years, three years, maybe even less. Maybe they try to pass it off as this was a good kid going bad. Hanging out with the wrong crowd, doing the wrong things. Maybe they try to pass him off that way. But at this point, he has 47 years that he has to do. The only way that he's not going to get 47 years, the only way that the government is not going to sentence him to a minimum of 47 years is if he cooperates and they like his cooperation. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.